Wittig. I'm the Executive Director of Options Health. At Options Health, we believe that all lives have value and have been equally created in the image of God. That life holds meaning and we are called to respect and honor life at every stage. This means that not only do the lives of unborn babies hold value, but also the lives of women, men, children, and entire families. Statistics show that 50% of pregnancies are unplanned. And for over 35 years, Options Health has been a safe place for a woman in an unplanned pregnancy to come and to be listened to, to be cared for free of judgment. We encourage her to bring her spouse, partner, or boyfriend so that we can serve them together because pregnancy affects them both. Our goal is to help them understand that they have more than one option and a community of support that goes beyond the pregnancy test, that we're here for them before, during, and after their pregnancy. Through our free and services and programs, we offer them hope. We remind them that they're stronger than they think and that they are not alone. We share a perspective that they may never receive anywhere else by providing light during a very dark time. We're here for them, and our heart is to be here for generations to come. We count on our amazing donors and church partners to help us keep all of our services free so that we're able to focus on what truly matters, the person that's sitting in front of us. Through our Walk for Life, you have an opportunity to support our mission to serve and to care for those in unplanned pregnancies, to empower and to educate teens to make healthy sexual choices and walk alongside women that have had a past abortion. Join us in the mission of Options Health by registering and participating for our 2021 Virtual Walk for Life. I'm the chairman of the board for Options Health, and I'm proud of that. This is perfect today for what we're talking about. You see, the world would want you to believe that the church is only concerned with saving babies. Have you heard that? That this whole narrative is just about saving babies, and we don't care about the moms, or we don't care about the dads, and that would be a tragedy if that was the case. That's why I choose to serve on the board of Options Health. We've even changed our mission statement recently because we believe the man is part of the equation. And recently we had a young couple come and they took an ultrasound and the man was excited. Earlier, as they arrived, they didn't think that this was possible, but the man saw the, the child and then he started into the Earn While You Learn program and started getting resources. And we have helped individuals that were on the streets, a gal named Jessica and her new baby Penny, on the streets of San Francisco. And we have helped bring her over to Pittsburgh and be cared for before, during, and after. Right? Because the world says, you just care about the baby, you don't care about the, the individual. That's what's so different about Options Health. Let me educate you what the difference is. We are taking that light and life of Christ and understanding outside the political maelstrom that surrounds this issue. And we say, we don't care about the political maelstrom. This is not a political issue. There are lives that are suffering and that are scared. And when you support Options Health, you are supporting the mother, you are supporting the father, you are supporting a child. And they are treated with dignity and with love and we do not just simply walk away once a decision is made either way. We are there through the person's life as long as they want to be connected to us. That's a difference at Options Health. And so I encourage you, come help us walk on May 15th. And it's not just about walking. We have to raise money because we want those services to be free. Did you catch that? That the services that are offered are free. Lastly, I have just a couple things that I want to share with you, and then we'll continue in our worship through music. Uh, we're going to have baby dedications on Mother's Day, May 9th. So um, if you have a new baby, it would be a great opportunity to have your baby dedicated. 
And so please contact the office and let us know, and we'll let you know what all that entails. And you got to do it quickly, because Mother's Day is coming up. 